down. Man down. All right, so I finally sat down and listened to the whole Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. And these are my fucking thoughts. Drake, you lost. Take that L and go on about your life. The second J. Cole backed out of this whole thing, I knew it was up for your ass. Because J. Cole's not backing away from a rap beef that he know he couldn't win. The second he said, nah, I'm good, I knew how this shit was about to go. Because even when Kendrick dropped the diss against them, I knew that was abnormal behavior for Kendrick. But from all the music I heard from Meet the Graham, all the way up to Not Like Us, oh, I knew Kendrick had this shit in the bag. Because a lot of Drake's responses, I'm listening to him and I'm just like, bro, stop singing and rap to this motherfucker. Drop some bars, Drizzy. Drop some bars. This man's calling you a pedophile and you over here want to harmonize and shit. But what I realized when listening to Kendrick Lamar's music in this shit, this is the music he just made on the fly and then dropped the shit. No, 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 no. This is months of stockpiled music that he had lined up for your ass, Drake. Because the way them hoes were mixed and mastered, oh, no, th these hoes weren't done last night. He had these hoes ready for your ass. That's why you couldn't respond quick enough. Bro won by spamming and then dropped the club banger on your ass. I'm still bumping not like us in my car. But God damn it, the music we've got this week has been gas.